praise the Lord, praise the Lord. This is once again a love slave, a bond servant of the Lord Jesus Christ and a friend of God here to bring you the wonderful word of God that is able to make one wise, that is able to change your life and change things that surrounds you, change the circumstances and fill you, build you up into a holy habitation for the Lord. So we've been talking about the witness of the Spirit, of the ministry, the ministry of the Holy Spirit. But in this one is the witness of the Spirit, the ministry of the Holy Spirit. But now we're talking about the witness of the Spirit with our spirit. And the main verses we took them from Romans chapter 8 verses 15 or verses 14. Let me read again. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. For you have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but the spirit. You have received the spirit of adoption or sonship, by which you cry, or we cry, Abba, Father, or Daddy. The spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. And if children, the heirs, heirs of God, and, and join heirs with Christ, if so be that we suffer with, that we may be also glorified together together praise god so now we've we've understood that the holy spirit bears witness we're talking about a joint witness with our spirit that we are indeed children of god then hairs of god and join hairs together with christ with christ let us see a scripture very quick in the book of John chapter 16 verses 12 John chapter 16 verses 12 I read I have yet many things to say unto you but you cannot bear them now Howbeit he when the spirit of truth has come he will guide you into all truth for he shall not speak of himself but whatsoever he shall hear shall he speak and he will show you things to come for he shall glorify me, for he shall receive of mine, take of mine, and shall show it unto you. All things the Father has are mine, therefore said I, that he shall take of mine, and shall show unto you. So now the Holy Spirit is burnt with us with our spirit, that we are children of God. Why? Because we have the spirit of the Son of God. We have the spirit that is born of God. We've been adopted into God's family through the Son of God. So now we are born of God. And our very nature and spirit is a spirit that proceeds from God. That, that proceeds from God through the Son of God. Through the Son of God. So now the Holy Ghost, who is a spirit of God, proceeds from God. And He is the presence of God everywhere. He is the power of God. He manifests the power of God, the wisdom of God. The knowledge of God. He brings order and harmony in heaven. He is the one that fills everything all in all. God does everything through His Spirit. Through His Spirit. And we have received this Holy Spirit. This wonderful Spirit. And He dwells in our spirit. As we saw in Scripture, the Lord Jesus Christ told the disciples, I will not leave you as orphans, but I will come to you. And he said, the Holy Ghost, I will ask my Father and he shall send you the Comforter, another Comforter. And when he said, you know the Spirit because he lives with you, but he shall be in you. So because he shall be in you, you will not be as orphans. I will come to you through the Holy Ghost. First of all, you shall be born again and I shall dwell in you. Your Spirit will be the Spirit of the same Spirit that I have the same nature, the spirit of the Son of God. And now you will not be orphans in case you don't believe you're a children of God, in case you don't feel like one, in case you feel lonely. You also have the Holy Ghost bear witness with your spirit that you are a children of God. And this Holy Ghost shall point you to me, shall point you to the Father, and shall indeed of the truth surely testify, prove to you, show you the evidence that ye are children of God just as I am a child, a child of God. The Lord Jesus Christ was a son of God. 
any one of the disciples to understand, listen, a time is going to come after I died, I die and raise again. You're also going to become sons just like I, just like me. And you shall receive the Holy Spirit just as I have received of the Holy Spirit. Just as I have the Spirit from my Father, you're also going to have the same Spirit. And the same Spirit, you're going to have what? What He's going to do is that He will take everything that belongs to me. Why? Because all that the Father has are mine. The Father has given everything on to me. And I've made you guys join hers together with me. And after I died and uh, I, I raised, I'm resurrected from the dead, you shall be born of me, receive the same spirit that I have, and you shall receive the Holy Ghost. And the Holy Ghost that is going to come and live inside of you, He is coming with everything that belongs to me. Oh, glory to God. I mean, we're talking about the glory and honor of the Lord Jesus Christ, the glory He was crowned of. He was crowned with. The Bible says, Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive glory and honor power and might, strength, wisdom and riches. The Lamb was slain to receive everything and all that pertain belongs to the Father, belongs to the Son. So this means the universe, the planets, the angels, everything on this earth, the gold, the money, the banks, everything that the whole earth, the land belongs to the Son of God because the Father has given everything to the Son and He's in charge of it. And He said the Holy Ghost shall take what is my and shall show it unto you so this holy spirit dwells inside of us and he has come with everything that belongs to the lord jesus christ he has come with the inheritance of the lord jesus christ and we being joined hers together with christ being your sons as he is now the spirit of god is bearing witness with our spirit by showing us what belongs to, to the lord jesus and telling us we are sons of God. In case you're not feeling good and the devil is threatening you, accusing you of certain things you have not done, accusing you of even a wrongdoing, accusing you of certain things you've done and making you think and wonder if you're still a child of God, if God is still with you, if the Father still loves you, if Jesus still loves you, if the Holy Ghost is still there with you. The devil will tell you, well, if you're really a child of God, look at what you've done. You're a sinner. No, but the Holy Ghost is now testifying. Bear with us with your spirit telling you, listen, you are not a sinner. You are a child of God. And he has the evidence. He has the proof. And he bears witness with your spirit to your emotions. You don't feel like one. Why? Because the enemy is causing you to feel worthless. It's causing you to feel like sinners. You see, most of us, we sing songs like, I'm just a sinner saved by grace. This is my story to God be the glory. I'm only a sinner saved by grace. And there are many people that open our mouths and say, Well, Christians, we are not better than the world. The only difference is that we have received Christ. We are all sinners and we all keep sinning. Let us not judge anyone. Let us bring them the word of God so that they'll be born again. But yes, we need to bring them the word of God for them to be born again to receive Christ. But the only, the difference, not the only, the, the huge difference between us and them, they are darkness and we are light. They are sinners and we are righteous. We are not sinners saved by grace. We were sinners who have been saved by grace. And the amazing grace of God does not leave us as sinners. That's how powerful the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ is. Does not leave us as sinners, but makes us the righteousness of God. Makes us light and makes us sons and gives us the inheritance that belongs to the son. If Jesus is not a sinner, the Christian can never be a sinner. So now the Holy Spirit testifies with your spirit and tells you, listen, you are not a sinner. Maybe you're, you're, you're not able to hear the witness of the spirit. Maybe you're not sensitive to the witness of the spirit. But in this series, we shall teach about the Holy Ghost what, how to be sensitive to the witness of the spirit, how to be awakened to the witness of the spirit in case you have seared that or in case your consciousness is that dead to his witness but the holy ghost is here to tell you listen you're not a sinner you are righteous you're born again and you're not a sinner saved by grace but you are the righteousness of god and in case you say oh, i am stupid i am dumb i am an idiot can't believe us now the holy ghost tells you listen you have a sound mind you have the mind of Christ. You're not stupid. You're not dumb. You're not an idiot. You're not a fool. 
you are wise because God has made you wise and you're born of him and you have the mind of Christ so you think like Christ you reason like Christ and you have the ideas of Christ when you say I cannot make it us and the Holy Ghost tells you listen you can make it why be and he tells you cheer up because Jesus has already overcome the world and greater is he that dwells in you than he that dwells in the world and when you start oh my god what am I going to do? I'm in trouble. I, I, I don't have money. And I said, I, I, my life is finished. Everything is done. The Holy Spirit tells you what your life is not finished. Cheer up. For you know the grace of your Lord Jesus Christ. Though he was rich, but for your sake he became poor. That through his poverty you might become rich. So cheer up. You're not poor. You cannot be poor. You're a child of God. And his inheritance is yours. And God is going to take care of everything. He loves you. So cheer up. So, oh my God, I'm afraid he said, fear not, for you don't have the spirit of fear, but you have the spirit of boldness. You see, so the Holy Ghost is bearing witness with your spirit that you are a child of God. So no matter what takes place, when things are not going on well, when your emotions are, are, are the emotions, when you're feeling like you're not a child of God, the Holy Ghost bears witness with your spirit. And tells you that you are a child of God. I'm, I mean, I'm not saying that every single second he keeps on talking to your spirit. No, no, no. But he bursts with it with your spirit. He teaches your spirit. And in turn, your spirit communicates to your mind and your emotions. So certain things he has, he has taught your spirit are revealed to your spirit some time ago. Or even days ago. Your spirit will remind you of these things. This witness. And let you know that. You are a child of the living God. So you should not live as one who was not a child of God. Maybe you are indulging and sin doing certain things that don't glorify God. I'm not talking about you doing the will of God and you're being persecuted, but I'm talking about doing I'm talking about you not doing the will of God. You not doing the will of God and sinning. The Holy Spirit. So witness with your spirit will be to tell you, listen, you're dead to sin and you're alive to God. That problem you're having was crucified with Christ. And acknowledge it to be so. Reckon yourself to be dead indeed unto sin, but alive unto God. Reckon, indeed, reckon yourself to be indeed dead unto that addiction, dead unto that lustful spirit, dead unto that uh, masturbation, dead unto that alcoholism, dead unto that then and reckon yourself to be alive unto God acknowledge that you're alive unto God and you're freed from these things and the Spirit of God bears witness with your spirit reveals these things to your spirit gives more light and understanding to your spirit and the light that is in your spirit your spirit also now gives that witness bears that witness to your soul to your mind and in turn you feel good you feel okay or even when somebody comes and preaches to you, share the word of God with you, your spirit bursts when I say, yes, yeah, that is true. And the Holy Ghost says, yes, what is saying is true. Take it, accept it, believe it, and walk by it. Walk by it. So we shall continue in the next series about the witness of the Spirit. We shall learn how to be sensitive to His witness and have a stronger witness of conviction of the Spirit. Stay blessed, even as you enjoy fellowship with the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. But the witness of the Spirit of the ministry, the ministry of the Holy Spirit. But in this one is the witness of the Spirit. The ministry of the Holy Spirit. But now we're talking about the witness of the Spirit with our spirit. And the main verses we took of Spirit. You have received the Spirit of adoption or sonship by which you cry or we cry. Abba, Father, or Daddy, the Spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. And he praise the Lord, praise the Lord. This is once again a love slave, a bond servant of the Lord Jesus Christ, and a friend of God here to bring you the wonderful word of God that is able to make one one from Romans chapter 8, verses 15. Of verses 14 let me read again for as many as are led by the Spirit of God they are the sons of God for you have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear but the size that is able to change your life 
and shame those that surrounds you change the circumstances and fill you build you up into a holy habitation for the Lord so we've been talking about